Apple ProRes is one of the most popular video codecs used today in the film and television industry and with good reason. The quality is fantastic, the file sizes are manageable, and the ease of use for macOS users to view ProRes files in QuickLook or QuickTime. Recently, Apple ProRes compatibility for Windows PC users has been greatly expanded, with Windows being able to write ProRes in several pieces of software. If you only need to play back ProRes files, but not write them, there are two very good free solutions. The first is VLC Player. VLC is something of a Swiss army knife when it comes to playing back video and audio files. It's a free download. Another option is DaVinci Resolve, which is a full-blown suite of video editing tools and color correction software. Now, this may exceed your needs, but it is a free solution and can play back other popular video files such as RED camera files, H.264, H.265, and even MKV. DaVinci Resolve on Windows cannot save ProRes files. Programs that can save ProRes files on Windows are next on our list. To start, click on the media page. Navigate to where the ProRes clips are saved on your computer in the media storage panel. Note that this panel can also see connected hard drives, networks, as well as camera cards. If you need full screen playback in a pinch, the keyboard shortcut is P for pinch. I'm not sure why P, but it's full screen. Press P again to exit full screen. Adobe Premiere Pro, Media Encoder, and After Effects can now natively read and write Apple ProRes files on Windows, thanks to a recent update. You will need an active subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud to access these features. I have some edited video in a timeline and would like to export this content as a ProRes QuickTime MOV. To save a ProRes file out of Premiere Pro, click Menu Bar, File, Export, Media. Under Export Settings, choose QuickTime, and under Presets, choose Apple ProRes 422. I chose Apple ProRes 422 since it's a good catch-all setting and is ideal if filming was done using a DSLR, a GoPro, or a mirrorless camera. Media Encoder is a great choice to convert multiple pieces of video at once. Files like H.265 can be too difficult for some computers to play back smoothly, so an editor will want to convert them to ProRes for efficiency. Media Encoder's presets are the exact same as Premiere Pro. Bring the files you wish to convert into the render queue. Select QuickTime from the Export Settings column, and select Apple ProRes 422 from the Preset column. Click Output File to set the destination for the render. Apple ProRes can be particularly useful for Adobe After Effects artists, as the format can save transparency information. In this animated title, the background is not really black, it's see-through. Let's save this file with transparency enabled so that we can bring the render into Premiere Pro for the edit. We're going to click Menu Bar, File, Export, Add to Render Queue. Adjust the output module by clicking High Quality. Format QuickTime. Format Options. Video Codec, Apple ProRes 4444. Change the video output channels to RGB plus alpha, and ensure bit depth is millions of colors plus. The plus is the transparency. And lastly, specify an output path. Now, with my animation rendered, the transparency information is preserved. I can drop this clip straight into an editor like Premiere Pro and immediately see the results. Avid Media Composer is widely popular among feature film and newsroom editors around the world, and Media Composer can also decode and encode ProRes on the Windows platform. There are two ways to interact with the ProRes codec in Avid. The first is to change the default import settings. This part is optional, but when importing media, you can transcode to ProRes straight away by selecting Menu Bar, Edit, Preferences, Project, Media Creation, Import. Select Apple ProRes and the compression type from the pull-down. Again, ProRes 422, which is sometimes just called ProRes, is a good catch-all setting if you're not sure. And click Apply to All. Now, 
any media created inside of Avid, such as titles, video files, effects renders, will be saved in this codec. Alternatively, we can export standalone ProRes video files from Media Composer. To do this, select Menu Bar, File, Output, Export to File. Open up the Options panel, Export as MOV, change the codec family to ProRes, and change the compression to ProRes 422. A few other video editing platforms have very recently added Apple ProRes encode support on Windows. These include Magix Vegas, Lightworks Pro, and Edius. It's worth noting that there are some suspicious software packages available that promise ProRes encode on Windows and usually cost a few dollars. These suites are nothing new and are usually referred to in the industry as FFmpeg ProRes encodes. FFmpeg ProRes is a method of using open source tools to reverse engineer the codec. The main issue with writing ProRes in this manner is how metadata gets written to video. One of the first lines of metadata in an Apple approved ProRes file will state that it's Apple approved, whereas the FFmpeg version will not. The best case scenario is that this won't be a problem, but the worst case scenario is that a client could reject your film or television program because it doesn't meet criteria during a technical inspection. For safety, I recommend sticking with the list of software packages listed above.